So the context of the Mentor in Residence program is to bring in part-time employees into the Office of Tech Transfer and help us reach into the university with experienced executives, hoping to be able to extract more from uh, our potential technologies and set them up for success in the future. And the Michigan Venture Center brings together talent and funding uh, and other resources uh, together with the researchers that are here to form new businesses. You know, typically we'll launch nine to ten startups a year and in the, we're seeing that definitely pick up and I think going into the future we'll be more on track to do 12 or 13 as a result of having more engagement from mentors. One of the most promising and the one that's, uh, that I've been working on now with two years, for two years is Ambic Micro, it's the company that's emerging. So what I've got here is our most recent research prototype. This is a, uh, a actually three-layer device, this tiny little chip here. The bottom layer is a battery, the middle layer is a chip that we developed based on our technology, and then the top layer is a solar cell. This tiny system here can run essentially infinitely on ambient light, so it's a really uh, cool advance. What we're actually commercializing is that, that middle piece, that microprocessor element of it. A lot of the work for the mentor and residents and the business formation team in general is working with the research faculty and their uh, students to get a market area defined. As we were developing these microprocessors, low power microprocessors for medical electronics, we realized that there were a lot of non-medical applications, applications where there were companies lining up today to buy these things. Applications like next generation smart credit cards, wireless smart sensors that are distributed throughout the building to monitor temperature, uh, equipment tracking tags. The research community here in the university, the projects that we engage in, have tons of technology, but may not have the exact market and customer. Dave, along with a number of other people at off the Office of Tech Transfer, really helped us hone our vision and, and figure out what our pitch was, what our product was, who our customers were. And uh, at the end of the day, we're technologists, and they really helped us to learn a lot of the business things. So much of uh, getting a startup going really rests on relationships. And it's the fact that these people can build relationships that are based on uh, respect, respect from someone's experience in the outside world. I think that lends a lot towards faculty trusting these guys. They've, however, also introduced us to some uh, new investors as well. They've also put us in touch with uh, mentors out in industry. These are people who are practicing in industry today, have insights into the low power electronics area. We have lots of ideas, actually. What we are missing many times are talent and funding. Uh, and sort of the honing of that idea such that it can be funded and reach the market. So uh, the whole team really works on all of that. There's a real culture uh, of entrepreneurship happening here. I see a lot of my friends trying to start companies. I see uh, a lot of the people who maybe a few years ago started a company begin to be successful. These are people who have sold their companies or have really grown to significant revenue with their companies. And that's exciting. That's motivational. That's the kind of thing that makes me want to be an entrepreneur myself.